Mayor Governor General Day and Cindy Kiro. It's Karen Brewer here again today. I told you, Governor, months and months ago, that these people would continue to come. Turns out I've got a few more mates again today. You've probably seen what happened in Perth yesterday outside the Governor's Kim Beasley. Tens of thousands, tens of thousands of Western Australians standing there. It's getting a bit hot for Governor Beasley. You know, and Kiwis are pretty laid back sort of people, Governor, but seems to me they're catching on now. Got more mates here today. More mates down in Wellington. I've got a lot of mates now standing in council chambers around New Zealand. Yeah. It's a basic military tactic, isn't it, Governor? General. Want to win a war? You surround the enemy. Guess what, Cindy? You know, you can call me Karen and I'll call you Cindy. Let's be mates, eh? <laughs> We're peaceful people, as you can see that. We formed up here organically and stood silently for over half an hour. We demonstrate to you daily the peace that we say we want. And every day you continue to ignore us. Well, that's not manners, is it, Cindy? Hey, did you learn no manners there at Onslow College? Hey, what about Mummy and Daddy? No manners? Hey, do you know how to hold your knife and fork? That's not manners, is it? I wrote to you in October. Gave you a copy of Senator Heffernan's speech, a matter of fact, the Australian Federal Hansards. Pointed out to you that you had a couple of judges sitting in your court there at Kaikoui that are pleading ignorance onto royal assent in the process of law. Judge Davis, Judge Shortland, guess what? A couple of predecessors ago appointed him, darling. And I wrote to you and I said, you know, you're going to have to do something about your judges, Cindy, because they don't know the law. Self-confessed that in court from the bench. Staggering stuff. On the 22nd of February, as you well know, because I wrote to you, you know, they arrested me on the 31st of August for standing outside the Far North District Council Chamber by myself last year. And then your costumed thugs tried a process of intimidation. There, yeah, they flooded up to my farm a couple of times, ignored my trespass notice, they jumped over it, they left litter on my veranda. It's not manners either, is it? And then you had Judge Shortland, he issues a war rant without grounds. Then your costume thugs arrested me again on the side of the road because they love the drama, don't they, eh, those costume thugs? Yeah, I think they might be bits of frustrated thespians, you know, couldn't quite make it on the stage. Anyway, so they arrested me, right? And then they take me up to see Judge Deidre Orchard. Now, Judge Deidre Orchard, she's one of them judges that let the child pedophile child rapist go home on home detention. Right, and so I go up to the court and they wouldn't tell me what they were, what the war rant was issued for. Your own costume thugs don't follow their own bloody script. Any wonder they failed thespians. Anyway, Judge Deidre Orchard says to the Crown Prosecutor, has Karen Brewer committed a com criminal offence? And your Crown Prosecutor, that's your bloke, well, he nearly, he nearly booked his pants. And he says to the judge, Judge Orchard, oh, um, we're, we're, we're trying to establish that. Judge Orchard didn't seem too impressed with that. Because, you know, you're not supposed to go around issuing war rants unless you've got grounds. Anyway, I tipped you off about Judge Davis not knowing his constitution and I've tipped you off about Judge Shortland. And you know, you still haven't wrote back to me. And you've got all these incompetent judges sitting in your theatres known as courtrooms. It's not real good look for you, Cindy, you know? I mean, let's be mates here. Look, I'm only trying to give you a hand, darling. But you're surrounded with a lot of shit, darling. A lot of incompetent, Freemason, inbred shit. And you know what happens, you know?
know when you inbreed too much, Cindy, don't you? Well, I mean, you would, yeah. But anyway, you got a lot of madness now surrounding you, darling. You know, you got a central parliament full of madness. Inbreed Freemason madness. You got your courts, all your courts, fully infected with Freemason inbred madness. All your council chambers too. I mean, it was a clever plan, you know, removing constitutional studies out of schools in the 70s, you know, trying to keep the profane ignorant. But guess what, Cindy? Hey, I've got to tell you, these bloody Kiwis are awesome. They're catching on quick. Yeah, I teach thousands of them every day about how their constitution and judiciary works. Take a look, Cindy. Dame Cindy Kiro, or should that be Pharaoh Kiro? Take a look out of your game here, mate. They catch it on. They'll be here again and again and there'll be more and more mates. So you have a good look at that footage out of Western Australia. Tens of thousands of people standing there surrounding Governor Kim Beasley in Western Australia. your network of film, okay? What you gonna do then? Anyway, like I said yesterday, Governor, Governor Dame Cindy Hero, I have lost confidence in the government. I instruct you to dissolve the parliament and issue the writs for fresh elections immediately for every city, district, regional council and the central parliament too. They all gotta go. Simultaneously, and they gotta go now. I instruct you to work with your counterpart in Australia, Governor General David Hurley. I want all the documents that Senator Heffernan produced to the Royal Commission released to the people unredacted. And now I'll give you a few quotes from Senator Heffernan's speech. Sadly, we have a compromise at the highest of levels. There is a former Prime Minister on this list, and it's a police document. When the police find it necessary to put a judge under surveillance, and that surveillance is dropped because of a lack of cooperation between the New South Wales Police and the AFP, we have a problem. And now to you, Cindy, former child commissioner. Let me quote to you from Senator Heffernan's speech. Judge Gary Nielsen in New South Wales, who was hearing a case against a man found guilty of raping siblings. That's an incest one, Cindy. I'm sure you're familiar. Judge Gary Nielsen said from the bench to the court that he thought the law was out of date, that sex for siblings should now be legal and it should not be illegal for men to have sex with children. Now, Cindy, over 10% of the New Zealand population lives in Australia, darling. So this is an ANZAC issue. Judge Gary Nielsen still sits on the bench in New South Wales. Isn't that disgusting, Dame Hero? Don't you think that's appalling? You know, if you had a conscience or a soul. So you're going to have to do something about that. Because you know them judges over in Australia? Yeah, sometimes the costume thugs in Australia, they arrest New Zealanders. Yeah, for bullshit. Yes. So you're going to have to deal with that, Cindy. Cindy, we are peaceful people. We come here every day to instruct you. I would urge you, take a good look at that footage out of Perth, Western Australia yesterday, Cindy. Because very shortly, that's going to be you. Surrounded by tens of thousands of Anzac. We stand here in silence to show you, Cindy, we are peaceful people. 
and that we are firm in our resolve. The jig's up, darling. We know your network is built. There ain't no secret anymore. And we will be here every day, in ever-growing numbers, until you do as instructed. Your salary per year is over $377,000 and all your expenses paid. And many of my Kiwi cousins standing here today have lost their jobs because of your abusive government. That's right, they're your government, Sydney darling. You're the head on show, Governor General. Well, we've worked it out. We're going to come and win this war. Very soon, General, you're going to find yourself surrounded. Won't be long now. So you've got a choice. You can issue those writs by tea time. And the people will take the matter and sort it out inside their electorates. Oh, we're going to be back here again tomorrow. In ever-growing numbers. The Anzacs digging in. I've instructed you, Governor. Do as you are instructed. <laughs>